In version 2.7 there are a few enhancements for the parts management. Let's have a look at the new features. Open the parts management. Click on utilities. Parts. Management. The parts management dialog comes up. In version 2.7 a new tab is added. In the tab about, you get provided data about your parts management database. You can have a look on how many parts are stored in your database. Go to the tree view. Select a component. Selected a component, you can see the detailed data on the right. In version 2.7 the tab properties is new to this view. In this tab you will now find the information about creation and modification. This information is moved from the tab Prices and Other to the tab Properties. The properties Creator and Creation Date and Editor and Modification Date are split in two separate properties each. For compatibility reason the old properties are still available. In fold down menus there are many more properties available. Under Component Data you will now find the technical properties from the old component tab. The properties last editor and modification are now separately available. Let's filter for components edited by me. Click on the button for the filter selection. Create a new filter by clicking on the sun. Name the filter and describe it. Click OK. Add a new property you want to filter by. Click on the sun. To find the property faster, search last. Select last editor and confirm with OK. Add the name of the last editor you want to filter into the value field. Save the filter. Click OK and filter the parts database. The filter displays the part we've modified. In the actual view we can't see when we modified it. Since the version 2.7 we can configure the representation of the view of the tree and display several properties. Let's add the last modification date direct behind the description. Click right to open the context menu. Configure representation. The dialog for scheme configuration comes up. Click on the sun to create a new scheme. Name it and add a description. Confirm with OK. Edit the configuration with clicking on the three dots. Add a new separator. Click OK or press Enter. First, select part at the left and add it to the configuration by clicking on the arrow. Select the property modification. Add it by clicking OK. Add another separator. Confirm your configuration and click OK. Save the scheme. Click on OK to process the changes. The last modification date is shown in the tree view. Change the view by clicking on the list tab. The list view is configurable too. Let's add the ERP number in the first column. Click right to bring up the context menu. Go to configure representation. A already known dialog comes up. Add a new scheme. Name and describe it. Add a new property to the list view by clicking the sun. Since version 2.7 it is possible to use and choose out of 100 attributes. Search for ERP. Select it and confirm. To bring the ERP number in the first column of the list, select it and bring it to the top of the configuration list. Save and confirm your scheme. For our selected article is no ERP number available. Let's add one. Click into the field for the ERP on the right. Enter a number. 
Press Enter to confirm the input. By pressing Enter after an input, the parts management closes formerly. In version 2.7 a re-engineered dialog comes up and asks you how to proceed. Click Cancel to go back to the parts management. Press Enter to bring the dialog up again. By clicking No the changes won't be saved. Check the result. Open the parts management again. Select the filter we created before, to get to our component. The changes are not saved. Quit the parts management by clicking close.